are orcs. Where would we be without your hideous faces and your blood curdling cries? Well, we would be missing certain Frodo Baggins, that's for sure. If you're not a fan of orcs, or despise their tough green skin, and detest their butt toothed mouths, then, and only then, is it time to kill some orcs. Orcs Must Die is the first fully developed title by Robot Entertainment. Robot Entertainment are known for being involved in the developing of Age of Empires Online and being the creators of bonus DLC for Halo Wars and Age of Empires 3. Orcs Must Die thrusts you into third person tower defence gameplay where you, a war mage, working for the Order, must defend 24 fortresses which house magical rifts to other worlds. Incoming waves of orc attacks force you to use a plethora of weapons and traps at your whim. You must tactically slay, burn, flip, impale and creatively kill your foes before they reach the rifts found in each castle. Let these pesky orcs reach their destination and the territories that you know beyond the rifts will fall. The story is what it seems on the surface, a shallow affair which draws you into the main element of gameplay, how to kill orcs. Dim-witted, foolish and too stubborn to focus on the fundamentals. Starting off gently, the game nurses you into finding your feet. It teaches you the ins and outs of how traps and weapons work, and the best way to deploy them. Initially, traps are simple in design, and are simple to place. Spike and arrow traps start you off and whet your appetite for more. You won't be disappointed with the extensive range that you unlock as the game goes by. Each weapon and trap leads to new styles of play and new tactics to be created. Coupled with the fact that each weapon can be used in tandem with others, each level will feel fresh. This encourages you to play on. As time advances, you become accustomed to how the perk and weapon systems work. By using traps to your advantage, you can earn multipliers which earn you more money. This ploy motivates you to kill orcs in the most creative way possible. The frenetic gameplay keeps you constantly on your toes. Each wave causes you to reassess your defences to make sure you are tactically sound for the next onslaught. Thus, the game never feels slow or boring. You are constantly onto the next wave, no looking back. This works well, however, after playing the game for around half an hour, this takes its toll, and I felt that significant breaks were needed to recharge the batteries. After all, there are only so many orcs you can kill in half an hour. The cartoon style reinforces the fun, quirky nature of the game, and is further backed up by the humour that is evident. Your character has some funny one-liners, which helps to keep the game light-hearted. Uh, I think I'm gonna be sick! Colours are rich and deep, from dark warming embers found within fire traps to green spitting acid bombs. This helps to create a world where you know death is around every corner and behind every trap. Weapons and traps can be upgraded by earning skulls. These are earned upon completion of each level, depending on a number of factors, including rift points lost and completion time. By upgrading traps, it will lead to perks such as faster reset time, a larger hit radius, and more damage dealt. I found a lot of time was spent over these decisions as they can become very important when playing from level to level. For example, some areas are vast and require you to herd enemies with barricades, whilst others are confined and will require you to upgrade traps which take out hordes of merciless enemies at once. This adds a layer of tactical depth and means that each decision to upgrade a trap or weapon is a crucial one. Unfortunately, there isn't a multiplayer component. Implementing a co-op mode would have been fun, but some levels can prove to be extremely challenging. So if you're looking for a game to play with your friends, this may not be for you. There is a small component that links to how your friends are progressing. When choosing levels, you can see how your friends are advancing compared to you via a simple score. So let's just say the multiplayer may leave you wanting. The single player lasts around 8 hours on the medium level of difficulty. The first playthrough will mainly involve you eking out survival. I found it hard to spare the cash to set up traps to delim and massacre orcs with any innovative flair. With medium level completed, there is some replay value. War Mage difficulty, the equivalent of hard mode, means you can really get to grips with your creative side. As a bonus, Robot Entertainment have released two sets of DLC. The first being Artifacts of Power, which grants you two new traps, the Shock Sapper and the Floor Scorcher, and two new weapons, the Alchemist Satchel and the Vampiric Gauntlets. The second pack is the Lost Adventures, which grants you access to five new levels, two new enemies, new skull rewards, and a bonus trap type, the Mana Well. This bonus content brings even more variation to gameplay and helps to keep killing orcs fresh and exciting. Orcs Must Die is fun and fantastic. Well, to start with, you're really arrogant and you talk like a history book. 
if you have a creative mind, then killing orcs ingeniously will be for you. While strip feeding your upgrades will keep you coming back for more, you may find yourself putting down the game after half an hour to an hour. Play can become frustrating when a level is failed repeatedly. However, given a break and a few hours to rethink your strategy, you'll be back at it in no time. You can't beat playing with friends, but somewhere in all the orc slaying, you forget about multiplayer. The game does a great job of keeping you focused on upgrades, and in the end, delivers an addictive experience. If you're a fan of third-person shooters and have been guilty of spending hours on tower defence games, then this will definitely tickle your fancy. Let us know how you like to slaughter your orcs. You can pick up Orcs Must Die on Xbox 360, Steam and on Live for PC, and finally on the on Live game system. For more game reviews, make sure your first stop is Game Lock.